Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you all how to uh, move, scale, and rotate a object um, using the channel box instead of the actual tool set I had just shown in the previous video. So um, I'm going to start just by creating a cube and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller for plus and minus to uh, change sizes of the uh, tool of the move rotator scale tool so you can also click on any one of these and holding middle mouse button click in your viewport with it highlighted in the channel box will move it only on that axis so that's another way to move it same thing here with Y same thing with rotate and scale so you can do multiple at a time so if I highlight all translate X Y and Z it's going to translate on X Y and Z simultaneously I can do the same thing for rotating and I can do the same thing for scaling holding middle mouse button click now um, you can also click one and hold control and let's just say uh, do a translate X and rotate Y and now uh, maybe not there it goes. So it will translate and rotate simultaneously uh, in the viewport if you do it that way. So if you select, it could be anything holding, you can you know do a click and drag, highlight a couple, and then let's just say you wanted to do a scale, hold control, it'll keep all the previous ones highlighted. And then we get some really weird sort of shape shifting here, uh, as well as transformations. Uh, translations. So um, that's how to uh, move the tool uh, or move an object using the channel box. You can also just type in if you want to move it a very specific set of coordinates and rotate it let's just say 180 degrees which you won't be able to tell so let's just say 45 and 45 and uh, 125 or 175 and scale uh, 2, 3, and 5. So you can do all of these also just by um, entering it into the channel box. So that's also another way to uh, maneuver your objects in Maya um, without using the tools and just using the channel box. So um, one last thing I'll cover is you also have this information in here in your attribute editor. So if I go to polycube, you also have it in here. It gives you an additional sort of few settings, but for now, we're only going to stick with translate, rotate, and scale. And you can also do it from the attribute editor. So just a slightly different layout, um, but you can also do it in here. and very shortly we'll be getting into uh, the attribute editor in one of the labs coming up so um, we'll get more into detail in what all of these different things mean in the attribute editor so um, anyway I hope that's also helpful for you uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and message me if you have any questions